Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to learn how to compute the running total for a given data set. Here we have a data set with years, month and sales details. We are going to learn how to create the running total for each of the month. To do that, the formula that we are going to use is the very basic sum formula. So let us put the formula is equal to sum open bracket select the sales number that is c2 semicolon write c2 again close bracket enter now we need to do one simple modification to this formula we need to change one c2 from relative reference to absolute reference how can we do that we can do that by just putting dollar symbol before c and before 2 hit enter and now if you drag down the formula you can see we are getting the running total. Just to cross check, February running total is 110, which is a summation of C2 and C3. In the same way, March running total is the summation of C2, C3 and C4, and so on and so forth. This sequence continues. So we can just go ahead and drag down the formula, get the running total. In the real world situations, whenever a new financial year begins, then we will have to start calculating a running total from the beginning that is also referred as year till date number so if we use this formula this is not going to bifurcate between the years if you see 2019 and 2020 the running total is just a continuous one and it is not starting from the beginning in the month of january so what is the solution for this problem then let's see how can we do that for that let us just create a pivot table so here is a simple pivot table that we have created. So now if we want to create a running total, then let's drag the sales number again to create one more column. Click anywhere in the pivot table, right click, go to value field settings, go to show values as and instead of no calculation, select running total in option, hit OK. Here you have a running total. Now if you clearly observe whenever the year changes, the running total gets calculated right from the beginning month. So this is how you can create running total in Excel for your data. Hope you enjoyed today's video and learned how to calculate running total. If you like the content of the video, please hit the like button, share the videos and subscribe to my channel for more and more such useful videos. Until my next video, happy learning.